It actually, it hurts your ears more than anything. I always felt like my ears were getting crushed or bent in weird ways. Sydney, this is not Sister Act. When I was walking in, this is the <laughs> furthest thing from it. <laughs> you scared the living Jaces out of me last night. Well done. You must be happy to get a reaction like that. Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm just so excited to finally be talking to people who get to see the film and, and see the reaction. The one thing that I wanted to know after coming out of it was, did you hurt yourself at all? Because there were some scenes where I was like, she is going to kill herself. She is going to fall over here. It's, she's going to get hurt. Was there anything like that when you were doing it? I, I never really got majorly injured. I was always cold. It was very cold during that time of year in Italy. And I was barefoot all the time. And in the convent, it was called Villa Parisi. It's this beautiful, beautiful old villa. And all the floors were marble. It was just freezing cold all the time. And then in the scene where I'm running across the field, it had rained the night before. And I think it was like 30 degrees out and I'm barefoot and I'm drenched and wet, covered in blood. And I think that was probably the coolest I'd ever been. My feet got so numb, I couldn't feel them. What's it like afterwards when you film that scene that you've just talked about there? Like, are you so kind of psyched up or do you get to have a laugh and go, Jesus, I'm wrecked. We have to do that scene again. I'm usually really, really pumped up to just do anything and everything. I'm like, okay, let me watch this shot back. Let's see what we can do better. Uh, should we move the camera over here? Okay, let's try and go faster. I'm, I'm pretty uh, game for anything. Um, I've been reading up so much about it since I watched the movie last night that how much hands-on you are in it. That must be amazing. Does it feel like it's your your baby because you've been part of it, of this story for so long? It does. It, it feels like my, my uh, I've been calling it my baby, my playground, my, my, my entire like dream come to life. It definitely feels like that. Amazing. Um, the habit, wearing that whole nun costume and all that, was that as uncomfortable? I could feel like it kind of stretches your face back a bit, maybe. <laughs> it actually, it hurts your ears more than anything. I always felt like my ears were getting crushed or bent in weird ways. I'm so sorry. This is probably the most lowbrow chat you're going to have today where I want to know <laughs> if you hurt yourself. <laughs> I, it's fun. I like it. It's something new. You were in, there's going to be a scene where you're in water again, freezing cold or where it was, a, please tell me it was warm that you were able to go, no, we can do I... this scene. That was actually warm. I'm I'm very thankful. Adam and everyone made sure that the water was warm. And it was nice. I didn't want to get out. Uh, before I let you go, can I ask about, you know, going to watch this with other crowds? Have you been able to experience what the likes of myself is watching through their eyes yet? I did. I got to see it with a crowd at South by Southwest. And it was the most exhilarating experience. The crowd, they were screaming and cheering and just in dead silence it was so cool to feel the energy of the entire theater and I'm excited for people to go to the theaters and get to experience that themselves so I'm from Ireland from Dublin Ireland you could say it's kind of still a big Catholic country we need a second movie and your character comes to Ireland and let's just kind of recreate <laughs> something else it has to happen that would be a lot of fun. I love, I've never been to Ireland, but I've always wanted to. Amazing. Look, congratulations. Thanks so much for uh, the interview today. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Amazing.